excitement, Commonwealth Games. Um, first of all, just, let's, let's just start right here. Everybody's concerned. How are you feeling at this point? Feeling good so far, for the most part. No, no pain per se. But uh, to be honest, the leg is not completely ready. But you know, we're doing tests here and there. Um, taking it slow, not not trying to to overdo anything. So you know, we have a few more days, so we're going to watch it and see how it develops. Right. Um, you know, must have been a, a really tough experience for you in Eugene. Definitely a favorite for a medal. You know, even a gold medal. Um, just take us through that moment when you realize you would not be able to to, to compete. Well, it's a, it's a very disappointing moment. Um, you know, I, I think supporters and, and, and well wishers were even more devastated than I was, to be honest. Um, I, I quickly came to, to grips with, with the situation because I realized, all right, a cramp like this, there's no way I'm going to be able to run normally. And my first thought was, it, it don't make sense to beat up myself because um, it basically behind me. And, and that's how I approach the situation and I just try to see how best to, to move forward and, and, and make the leg better. But trust me, it, it, I know what I could have done. I was fit, I was feeling really good. I think I was executing very well, especially even the start where I've had problems over the years. So I was really looking forward to, to making it a very competitive race. I figured, I think we would have run a very fast time because everybody was running really well. But um, I guess God is not ready yet for, for us to de de deliver the fast time. So I have to just um, wait a little bit, make sure that I'm in good health and then take it down again. A lot of confusion too about what actually happened. Um, what was it that, that caused that cramp? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I've been thinking that it might be a lapse in the hydration process. I felt I was hydrating properly. I think it might have been too much water, not enough um, rehydration salts and so on, especially throughout the night. But I was feeling good all, all the way up until testing on the blocks. That's when I started to feel a little strange thing. And then upon the second hurdle, when I, when I did the blocks test, that's when I got the cramp. And from I got the cramp, everything was thrown off, hitting the hurdle and almost falling over and all of that. Um, yeah, but as I say, I, I feel like it, it might have been hydration issues because I was feeling good, even the warm up. You know, after the semi-finals, I was uh, everything was good. There was nothing, no indication that something was off. So now I, I try to make sure that I'm focusing a little bit more on the hydration part of things. You know, I mean, fluid up as much as possible, and not worry about too much sugars at night right now, because that, that was one of my concerns. With, like drinking a Gatorade at night, mm -hmm. uh, why I wasn't doing that. So. You know, we'll live and learn. Final question. I mean, it's not quite, it's not quite a consolation, you know, the Commonwealth Games and the World Championships, but it, it makes, of course, this assignment more important for you, right? I'm sure. Well, definitely. Um, if I must be honest, we we are not completely sure yet mm -hmm. if we're going to make the run. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, we're still watching it, still um, taking baby steps forward to make sure that the leg is good because I don't want to put myself in a position where I make more damages and then out for the rest of the season and then a very slow start to prepare for next season which is also another important year. So all being well tomorrow we will do some hurdles and then we we'll decide from then if we're gonna make move forward with these games. Alright well good luck man you know you have um, the support of the Jamaican people. You have you know